Good afternoon, man. Tomorrow here. Thank you for like, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about how I made money during this COVID virus day. Two ways. One way, I made money in my sleep. The other way, I actually made money because of the things I was set up there. <clears throat> Let's talk about the first way. Now, when this thing started cropping up, the first thing that I immediately did was trying to find somebody to source masks from over there in China. Once we found, like, the best uh, person, we ordered, like, a sick amount. Had them, obviously, shipped to uh, Amazon Fulfillment Center. And already had them on the market at a reasonable price. Not price gouging and doing no clown stuff like that. Before this thing actually hit. I mean, hand sanitizer is so easy and cheap to create. It's ridiculous that anybody would be selling <laughs> that little bit amount of a bottle of hand sanitizer for that amount of money. It's, it's just stupid. But you can do this stuff with a lot of things. Right now, when you go to the store, look at the things that are missing inside those stores. <clears throat> now, another way that I've done this is... When I, whenever I go to these stores, because I always have, it's either me or somebody else go to these stores, and we look at the sections of things that are missing out the store. Then you figure out who sources those types of things locally. Because it's probably easier to find somebody locally that does the same thing than it is to find, like, a big company. Because big companies right now, they got their stuff only going towards a certain things, but they're trying to wait till the market get a certain type of bad before they do that. But you as a person, you should already be looking at these things in these situations. Because I've seen what happened during the bird flu. I've seen what happened during all these other flus. And it was the same type of product that was selling. Business repeats in the same exact cycle over and over again. None of this stuff is different. You see people walking around with masks during that time too. You see people loading up on hand sanitizer and all this stuff too you see people loading up on well not really tissue i'm not sure what that's about but that time too so with the tissue and paper products most of them are made by only about three or four companies in the united states and you can pretty much white label that stuff too have this stuff ordered they could be sitting in shipping containers or the Amazon fulfillment store while you pay that monthly fee and whenever things hit, boom, you're selling your stuff at a reasonable price. Now don't get greedy, don't talk to the media like that dude did in uh, Tennessee, how he was going around buying all this hand sanitizer and all that kind of stuff. Because you have to notice, if you're going around buying the same product everywhere, you kind of go on like a little watch list and they follow your ass around <laughs> to tell you the truth. They do track you when you do this type of stuff. But no one tracks you if you go to, like, the parent companies of these people to order these things. That's what that guy in Tennessee did wrong. He talked to the media about how he did all this stuff and how he was going to cash in. Nah, dude, you don't talk to the media about how your business works. That's how you end up losing everything. And the third way is obviously being signed up in the system. Uh, the uh, federal contract. There's a ton of stuff that needs to be moved around. A ton of money that get influxed into the market whenever a national emergency is declared. And as long as your company is set up properly in the system, you could be able to be the first couple of people who they call when things go wrong, whenever things need to be shipped from one area to the next. So all this stuff is still all about preparation at the end of the day. And guess what? Next year is still going to be the flu. Next year, is still going to be a whole bunch of more other stuff that happens and goes on. But there's a lot of people who's going to be actually prepared, and there's a lot of people who isn't. And this is the way how you can legally prepare to make money when things happen. There's people who do nothing but wait till hurricanes happen and use their actual companies to go in every single year to rebuild part of military installation as a construction company. That's all they ever do. Waiting on fires to happen in like California every single year. Being posted nice and close so that way their stuff can be used 
when it's time to help with the evacuation, temporary housing, or actually putting out the fires. Again, preparation, man. This stuff goes in cycles, and it's going to be the same stuff. It's just that whether or not you're going to be there to make money whenever it happens. And not a single thing that I'm telling you is not something that you can't do on your own with enough preparation. And this is why it's vitally important that you invest your money in yourself. Not trying to invest your money into four and five hundred dollar car payments, living in areas of town where you most likely don't need to be living, three, four hundred dollars extra a month. You can save all that money and be investing in your future rather than trying to conquer the past. That's what dumbasses do, try to conquer the past. So that's all I got. Thank you for listening. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribe. I'm the man of tomorrow, and this is how you make money doing situations like this, the legal way. You got to be prepared, though. Thanks so much. Y'all have a nice one.